wanted to start and try something new too. So I, I want to start doing like little segments where I take you in the kitchen and show you some few different things that you can do to uh, make easy, quick things that are healthy. So today I want to tell you quickly, very quickly, obviously, how to make a nice healthy hummus on your own. And this is to me is almost like my condiment of choice, especially when it comes to like sandwiches or you can use it as a dip with raw veg veggies and stuff. Um, it's a great source of fiber and protein and it's a really great thing to eat and very helpful for you. So what I've got here is a couple cans of organic garbanzo beans and they're organic obviously I said um, and the reason I got those is because when you look at the label there's nothing but garbanzo beans water and sea salt that's it um, you're getting a little bit of sodium in there um, but great fiber some protein and it's quick and easy to do so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take those you can add the water to it I'm gonna put those right into my ninja ninja the other one as well okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little couple glo cloves of garlic I don't want to take too big of ones but I want to pinch the end off One, I like garlic, two, I'm going to go with one more, find a decent size one, here we go, come on, just pinching the end off, there we go, and in we go. And then I am going to add a little bit of an herb to it. And I love cilantro. Just love it, love it, love it. So what we're going to do is add some cilantro to it. So I'm going to take those, kind of just strip them. A little bit, get the leaves, put the cilantro in. This is great aromatic herb. It's got a great flavor. It's my secret ingredient, my guac. It goes great in Mexican and other types of food, but it's just one of those things. And it's a good way to get some, uh, some green leafy stuff in there as well. So I really love it. It's uh, actually a little bit can go a long way. So, I'll do that. And then, actually, to spice it up, because I do like it a little spicy, I have chopped up a, a habanero scotch bonnet pepper, as you can see. And all I did was kind of like slice it up there. And we're going to add that in there. As well, and this is so easy. Like I'm saying, this is taking five minutes. That's in, and then the only other thing we're gonna do is just add some uh, some lemon to it. So, just squeeze in that lemon, fresh lemon, getting the juice in there. Get the other one. Pinch it in there. Get the juice of that lemon in there. You can use lime too, if you. Uh, and you really can, uh, besides the garlic or whatever, you can really uh, do it any way you want to. You could add a little extra, you know, your type of your favorite herb. Um, 
you know, your favorite kind of, if you want to just do like a roasted red pepper or something, you could do those in the oven and add the roasted red pepper to it. Uh, you know, you can really go kind of any way you want with it. All right. That's it with that. And so we're just going to, where is the lid? There we go. Put it on the Ninja. Stir it up. And hit it. So the only thing I failed to mention and show you in the video is that because I was doing it spicy this time, I added an extra can of organic black beans to it too. Oop. So it's kind of making it a little more southwestern. But again, all you're doing is adding extra protein and fiber with the beans to it. And you can refrigerate this just like you would do anything. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's got some flavor, some zing in it. Mmm. The cilantro gives it a great taste. You can taste the lemon in it. You can do a lime if you want. Um, like I say, it's a great thing to put on sandwiches. Make a panini with some whole grain bread. Do some vegetables with avocado, spinach, tomato, onions, whatever there. Put it in a pressed sandwich and use this instead of mayonnaise or condiments like uh, mustard or ketchup or something like that. And again, you can use it to dip uh, vegetables in and stuff. Heck, I even like it with eggs. You know, you could do a fried egg sandwich and, and put some of this on it and it's rocking. A little bit of cheese on there. So uh, that's it. So uh, make your own hummus and uh, skip all the fat and all the extra crap that they put in that other stuff. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.